Rosa Diaz, will you marry me? What? what? This is what you told me to do. I barely said anything. You cut me off way too early. Sarge, stay out of this. Gladly. No, I will not marry you. How about we just get a drink first? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds nice. Oh, that's actually sweet. Nope. Rosa, 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 oh yeah, beautiful Rosa. I think he's into me. What do you do to these perps? Fear is a powerful aphrodisiac. Everyone, this is my nephew Marcus. He's new in town. He's staying with me until he finds a place. He is 31. You're a terrible hype man. <laughs> and you must be Gina. I heard a lot about everyone. Uh, take it, your Amy, Rosa, Terry. I'm Jake. Uh, we're both Jake. Scully and Hitchcock. <laughs> hey, well, just came to get the keys from my Uncle Ray. Let everybody get back to work. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Bye. Holy Moses. Bye. What? For you, that's basically walking up to him and jamming your tongue down his throat. Shut up. Yeah, it's Gina. That's enough. You're right. Sorry. Too far. Well, let me just add one little thing off topic. Rosa wants to bone your nephew. The ink's still wet. Maybe this will help. <sighs> okay, they gotta knock that off. Something I'd like to say. I'm a pretty private person, so this is kind of hard for me, but here we go. I'm bisexual. All right, I will now field one minute and zero seconds of questions pertaining to this. Go, Amy. How long have you known? Since seventh grade. I was watching Saved by the Bell and I thought, Zach Morris is hot. And then I thought, Lisa Turtle, also hot. The fact that the words Kelly and Kapowski didn't just come out of your mouth is lunacy. What made you decide to tell us now? Charles found out on the road trip and I was positive he was not gonna be able to keep a secret for much longer. Bye, Rosa. I mean, not bye, but bye. I mean, see ya. I mean, have fun only having sex with men, just banging dudes left and right. I just stopped saying bye altogether. So are you seeing anyone now? Yeah, her name's Tiffany. Are you lying about her name so we won't look her up? Yes, I am. Next. Do you know Anne Heche? I do. Ooh. I must say, this is going considerably better than when I came out to my colleagues. They were not, as the kids say, awake. Do you mean woke? I did mean woke, but it's grammatically incoherent. OK, we have time for one more question. No. Oh. Nope, absolutely not. We're done. Rosa, I want to introduce you to my friend, Trishel. Hi. Sparks. Well, I'm going to take off. You two have fun. Get some. I made a mobile version. So what are you drinking? I'll have a margarita, but like a skinny margarita. So like tequila and lime and a tiny splash of agave. Mm, I refuse to order that. You don't have to. I heard her. What do you want? Just take your cheapest whiskey and pour it into your nearest glass. That's a drink. So with this diet that I'm on, I had a good last night. Worst date I've ever been on. Oh, no, that sucks. But why are you coming into work so late? It's almost like you spent the night somewhere. I don't know, like maybe the bartenders? Wait, what? How did you know that? Because Aubrey is my friend, and she was the real setup all along. No, 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 no. Yes, no. I knew you'd reject whoever I put in front of you. I mean, Trishel was just a decoy, and you fell for it. Hook, line, and skinny margarita. Nicely done. Aubrey is great. We are going to dinner again tonight. Woo! I owe you an apology. You're a great matchmaker. Thank you. And you know what? I'm just glad that you found the courage to tell me how great I am. It means so much. Whatever. Mm. Have a fun night. Mm. I told you I was sensitive, Rosa. Yeah, you did. Why don't you come back here and take me out to dinner? Ah, <laughs> I know you're trying to trap me, but crazy thing is, I'm tempted. Well, you must be Jocelyn. What? No, I'm Denise. Who's Jocelyn? Is Rosa cheating on me? Oh, my. No, that was a joke. I'm sorry. I thought it would be funny. I am Jocelyn. Oh, that was actually very funny. I didn't know what was happening, and then I thought I knew what was happening, but what I thought I knew was happening wasn't what was happening. It's very good. 
You punching holes? Yeah. That's way too much paper. Not for me. Can't even get a cup of coffee. <clears throat> well, I'm off to find some yellow paper so I can do this all over again. Marcus, you leaving? Come, have breakfast with us. Yeah, Bradley. And Detective Diaz is here as well. Hey. Hello, Kevin. Rosa, Marcus. Kevin, Uncle Ray. Marcus. And Cheddar. Cheddar is also here. Uh, would you care to join us? Sure. Shall we sit? I don't think sit. Good. Then feel no obligation to stay, Rosa. Detective Diaz. Detective Rosa Diaz is in my breakfast nook. So, who would like French toast? I can put a bacon smile on it. My being here is weird. This was a bad idea. We shouldn't see each other again. Wow, Detective Rosa Diaz has left. Hmm. Mm. I could have done that. Yeah, I know you could have, but you didn't. I did. Jocelyn. Jocelyn Price, hey. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at the airport? Yeah, uh, I wanted to stop and see you on the way there. I think we need to talk. Why? Is something wrong? I should have done this last night, but I chickened out. We need to break up. Oh, Mama Magalione. You want to break up? But I just met your college friends. Are you telling me I had to talk to Matt for nothing? Rosa? I thought you liked Matt. Matt is a nightmare. He kept saying, hashtag, tell me about it. We should really get going. Listen, I just don't understand why this is happening. Look, I love being with you, but how often am I actually with you? We're together every night. Unless you're at work, or doing work, or thinking about work. It's like you never have time for me. I'm sorry, but Rosa doesn't have time for you. We have a really important work thing. That was bad. Let me try rephrasing it. You are not as important as Rosa's job. Oh, wow, that was way worse. Look, we just have to take care of this one thing. It's an emergency. Then I'll be right back and we can talk about this. I really have to get to the airport. Please. OK, fine. But I'm leaving in 10 minutes. Okay, just wait in the break room. Don't sit on the couch. It's full of farts. So our plan was simple. The best way to win is to sit back, watch everyone else, and then choose your moment. But to do that, I needed people to think I was gone. That's a trick she learned from me. During the fourth type, universally considered the best type. You were so eager to think I'd drop everything and chase after Adrian. So you don't want to end up with Pimento? No. But you believed it because you all think for someone to be happy, their story has to end with marriage and kids. I mean, I believed it because you told me and I trust you. Whatever, breeder. Hey, can I talk to you for a sec? I just want you to know that I don't care if you end up with anyone or get married or whatever. I just want you to be happy. I am happy. I'm making a difference. I've got great friends. Also, I'm moving in with my girlfriend, Deborah. She is amazing. She makes me feel whole. <gasps> really? Oh my god, this is too easy. No, I don't want to settle down. Right, I'm sorry. 